Imagine traveling back around 70 million years to the late Cretaceous. The scene is Asia, a vast continent where dinosaurs ruled the land. But we're not talking about just any dinosaurs, we're speaking of true giants that seem ripped straight from the wildest science fiction tales. Creatures so awe-inspiring that if you could see them today, a chill would run down your spine. Among all these beasts, there was one that stood out above the rest, and not by chance. We're talking about the mighty Tarbosaurus, a carnivore so terrifying it could make even the bravest of prehistoric adventurers break a sweat. This predator wasn't just any dinosaur, it was a close cousin of the famous Tyrannosaurus rex, which terrorized North America, while its relative Tarbosaurus did the same in what we now know as Mongolia. So if you thought the T-Rex was the only one worthy of starring in your prehistoric nightmares, I invite you to stick around and get to know Tarbosaurus, a tyrant that doesn't fall short in the fight for the crown of the greatest carnivorous dinosaurs. The name Tarbosaurus literally means alarming lizard, and indeed it was. This incredible creature was discovered in the vast stretches of the Gobi Desert, a place so inhospitable that only the most determined adventurers dared explore it. And it was a team of Soviet paleontologists, armed with patience and pickaxes, who unearthed one of the most astonishing discoveries of the 20th century. Imagine the moment, after hours of hard work under the blazing sun, they uncover a gigantic skull accompanied by several vertebrae, a discovery that left them breathless. For the paleontologists, this was like finding an Asian version of the legendary T-Rex. So excited were they that they initially named it Tyrannosaurus batar, with batar being a Mongolian word meaning hero. A true prehistoric hero had come to light. But the surprises didn't end there. During that same expedition, the scientists found the remains of three other theropods of various sizes. Before we continue, if you like what you are watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future content. It really helps support the channel and keeps us bringing you more quality content videos like this one. Now, let's get back to it. This initial find caused some confusion and led to the creation of two new species of Gorgosaurus and a new genus for the largest skeleton, which was eventually named Tarbosaurus. The name couldn't have been more fitting, as this creature with its massive structure was truly alarming. Although the Soviet paleontologists were right to classify it as a new genus, their initial identification wasn't entirely accurate. A decade later, further analysis showed that all the theropods found in that expedition actually belonged to a single species. Tarbosaurus batar. Sadly, the notion of having discovered a new Tyrannosaurus or Gorgosaurus had to be discarded, but that didn't make the Tarbosaurus any less impressive. With its S-shaped neck, incredibly small hands compared to its massive body, and a large fused skull, the Tarbosaurus was still a formidable Tyrannosaur, earning its place in the history of prehistoric giants. Tarbosaurus is probably the closest match to the famous Rex, as both shared very similar body proportions. However, upon closer examination, paleontologists have found key differences. For example, the T-Rex had a more robust skull and body, giving it an even more intimidating predatory appearance. Additionally, its hands were proportionally larger than those of the Tarbosaurus. In fact, Tarbosaurus is also known for having the smallest hands of any Tyrannosaur discovered to date, a curious fact that continues to puzzle paleontologists. What were those tiny hands for? We still don't know for sure, but what's clear is that it didn't need much else to be a fearsome hunter. While the evolution of the T-Rex is still a topic of debate among experts, it's clear that both Tarbosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex shared many common traits. And although the T-Rex claimed the fame, Tarbosaurus remains a worthy contender for the title of most feared predator in prehistoric history. For a while, scientists believed that Tarbosaurus might have been the direct ancestor of the iconic Tyrannosaurus rex. Imagine for a moment, a group of these colossal predators crossing the Bering Strait at a time when Asia and North America were connected. A natural bridge that allowed these beasts to dominate two continents? Without a doubt, a fascinating image. However, this theory no longer holds. New research has revealed that North America already had older tyrannosaurs, such as Dasplitosaurus, a fierce predator that could have been the true precursor to the T-Rex. Furthermore, recent discoveries add even more intrigue to the story. A new study has identified an even older species of Tyrannosaurus known as Tyrannosaurus macrayensis, which roamed the Earth long before Tarbosaurus. This finding completely shatters the idea that Tarbosaurus was the direct ancestor of the T-Rex and further complicates the evolutionary history of these titans. 
While science has confirmed that Tarbosaurus and the T-Rex are sister taxa, this close relationship has not always been fair to the Asian predator. The imposing T-Rex, with its blockbuster fame and reputation as the king of the dinosaurs, has left its cousin in the shadows. But beware, being the second largest is no small feat. Tarbosaurus was no ordinary dinosaur. Adults could reach up to 10 meters, 33 feet, in length, and stood 3 meters, 10 feet, tall at the hips. We're talking about a true colossus. Its massive body, supported by sturdy bones and impressive musculature, made it a beast weighing over 5 tons. To put that into perspective, that's like putting 5 average sized giraffes on a scale to match the weight of a single Tarbosaurus. This Asian giant ranks among the heaviest theropods in history, competing with monsters like Succomimus and Therizinosaurus. Although the T-Rex surpasses it in size and popularity, Tarbosaurus is undoubtedly one of the greatest predators of all time. And if you thought 10 meters was as big as it gets, gets. Brace yourself. Among the Tarbosaurus fossils is an enormous skull measuring 1.35 meters, 4.4 feet, in length. This puts it on par with the mighty T-Rex, although its body was a bit lighter and shorter. Even so, Tarbosaurus was without question the apex predator of its habitat. No other creature of its time could stand against it. With such size and strength, this Tyrannosaur was a perfect hunting machine. In the realm of Tyrannosaurs, having a devastating bite was the main weapon, and Tarbosaurus was no exception. Its massive skull was designed to support an astonishing amount of muscle, giving it a bite that could rival even that of the T-Rex. With an opening in the skull called a fenestra, where these muscles were anchored, Tarbosaurus had the capacity to generate an estimated bite force of 10,000 pounds per square inch. Yes, you read that correctly. More powerful than the bite of the feared Giganotosaurus, and stronger than any living animal today. For the herbivores that shared its territory, this was very bad news. With its tremendous bite, Tarbosaurus not only tore through flesh, but literally crushed bones with each bite, causing massive hemorrhaging and instant shock to its unfortunate prey. Tarbosaurus was well equipped for hunting. With between 58 and 64 sharp serrated teeth, more finely serrated than those of the T-Rex, its jaws were a veritable prehistoric guillotine. Each bite was like the strike of a hydraulic press, shredding flesh and bone effortlessly. These teeth, combined with the immense power of its jaws, meant that any creature unlucky enough to be attacked by Tarbosaurus had few chances of survival. With such an arsenal of weapons at its disposal, Tarbosaurus had a fairly diverse menu. Isotopic studies have revealed revealed that this giant predator had a particular taste for other equally colossal creatures. Its favorite prey included hadrosaurs, ankylosaurs, and even titanosaurs, some of which, like Opithecoelacaudia and Nemegtosaurus, were larger than Tarbosaurus itself. And it's not just theory. Fossils of these herbivores have been found with bite marks that perfectly match the jaws of Tarbosaurus. In other words, we have evidence that this titan hunted and devoured other prehistoric giants. Although giant herbivores like titanosaurs were tar Tarbosaurus' favorite victims. Its appetite wasn't limited to them. Other equally colossal dinosaurs were also on the menu, including some giant theropods. And no, we're not talking about other Tarbosaurus, but about creatures as surprising as Dinochirus, a gigantic ornithomimosaur that, to the surprise of many, was actually larger than Tarbosaurus itself. This monster weighing over 6 to 7 tons with its strange appearance might have seemed intimidating, but even its size wasn't enough to escape the jaws of Tarbosaurus. One of the most surprising discoveries of a Dinochirus revealed scattered remains everywhere, as if it had been gutted with unparalleled violence. The scientists who found it took time to figure out what had happened, as its body had been pierced and torn apart in such a way that it resembled a macabre puzzle. The culprit? Yes, you guessed it. A fierce Tarbosaurus looking for its neck. Next meal. Another candidate that may have fallen under the jaws of Tarbosaurus is the Therizinosaurus, a theropod almost as impressive. Though slightly smaller, weighing up to 5 tons, this giant had a unique weapon, the largest claws of any known animal extinct or alive. These natural blades measured several meters in length, but so far, we haven't found direct evidence that a Tarbosaurus ever tried its luck hunting one of these titans. However, many believe that if they crossed paths, Tarbosaurus wouldn't hesitate to add Therizinosaurus to its its list of prey. 
But what made Tarbosaurus so lethal? Its skull was an evolutionary masterpiece, specifically designed to bring down giants. More rigid than those of other Tyrannosaurs, its jaw was extremely strong and firm. This structure allowed it to maintain an iron grip when biting its prey, especially the Titanosaurs, which could measure over 30 meters in length. Once Tarbosaurus clamped its jaws around a victim, escape was nearly impossible. Its ability to hold on to these colossi and cause massive damage was a key adaptation that made it unique among the Tyrannosaurs. And if you thought Tarbosaurus was all brute strength, you'd be surprised to learn that it was also surprisingly fast. Though it couldn't match the speed of a Velociraptor, it is estimated to have reached speeds of 40 kilometers per hour, 25 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, that's roughly the speed of a full speed African elephant. While not as impressive as smaller dinosaurs, this speed was more than enough to catch heavy sauropods and hadrosaurs, which had no chance of escaping this predator. But Tarbosaurus Tarbosaurus wasn't just an expert hunter, it also knew how to make the most of every meal. It was an opportunistic scavenger, taking advantage of any carcass it found. Its powerful jaws allowed it to extract every bit of meat available, turning it into a prehistoric recycling machine that wasted no opportunity to feed. Part of its success as both a hunter and scavenger was due to its highly developed sense of smell. Detailed studies of its brain have revealed an enormous olfactory bulb indicating that Tarbosaurus could track prey over long distances. This incredible olfactory ability also allowed it to detect carcasses from afar, making it an even more effective scavenger. Additionally, it had a highly developed Jacobson's organ, which enabled it to detect pheromones, crucial for finding mates and maintaining social interactions. However, not every everything about Tarbosaurus was perfect. Its vision wasn't the best. Brain studies suggest that the areas responsible for sight were underdeveloped, meaning its visual acuity wasn't as sharp as that of other predators. Unlike its North American relatives, like the T-Rex, Tarbosaurus had a narrower skull, with eyes positioned more to the sides. This limited its ability to have effective binocular vision, making it harder for it to accurately gauge distances. Despite not having the best vision, Tarbosaurus had an impressive sensory advantage. It's here its surprisingly large auditory nerve granted it extraordinary hearing, allowing it to detect even the subtlest sounds from its prey. Imagine the distant crackle of branches under the weight of a giant herbivore, a sound that Tarbosaurus could likely hear from a considerable distance, preparing for the perfect ambush. But its hearing wasn't just useful for hunting, this sensory ability also enhanced its balance and coordination, essential when facing the colossal titans of the Cretaceous. In a confrontation against a massive dinosaur, this precise hearing could mean the difference between life and death helping Tarbosaurus anticipate every move of its opponent. As for its skin, fossils reveal fascinating details. Although there is much debate today about whether some Tyrannosaurs had feathers, what we know for sure about Tarbosaurus is that it had scales. These scales, especially covering its legs and chest, acted as a natural armor with some reaching up to two centimeters wide. This shield would have been crucial in protecting it from scratches and superficial wounds during battles with other beasts, preventing dangerous infections in a a world full of predators and threats. Additionally, its tough skin would have helped it survive the harsh conditions of the ancient Gobi Desert. Tarbosaurus didn't reign just anywhere. Its home, the ecosystem of the Namekt Formation, was a true prehistoric paradise. Unlike today's dry and arid desert, 70 million years ago, this region was a vast oasis teeming with life. The landscape was adorned with mighty rivers, lakes, and dense conifer forests. Picture enormous marshes and expansive mudflats, a fertile scene supporting an incredible diversity of dinosaurs. This territory not only provided an ideal environment for hunting, but also offered multiple scavenging opportunities, making Tarbosaurus the undisputed king of the Asian Cretaceous. During its reign, Tarbosaurus didn't just dominate its prey, but also adapted to changes in its environment. With a lethal combination of active hunting and scavenging abilities, along with an incredibly sharp sense of smell, this this dinosaur became the alpha predator of its time. Its ability to hunt the largest dinosaurs, combined with its cunning to seize every feeding opportunity, allowed it to remain at the top of the food chain for millions of years.
Tarbosaurus wasn't alone among predators, although few could compete with it for the title of top hunter. In its territory, it shared space with other tyrannosaurs like Allioramus and Bataraptor. However, none of them posed a real threat to the giant. Allioramus, with its modest one-ton weight, seemed insignificant next to Tarbosaurus, which outweighed it by several tons. While they might have been a threat to young Tarbosaurus, adults had little to worry about. The smaller ones were forced to compete for resources and territory, hunting smaller prey until they reached the size necessary necessary to become true giant predators. Despite living in an oasis full of life, Tarbosaurus's home hid a deadly danger, droughts. Fossils discovered in the region reveal periods of extreme water scarcity when rivers and lakes dried up and the landscape turned into a desert expanse. During these times, life became much harder for the dinosaurs and the struggle for resources intensified. Only the strongest survived and Tarbosaurus was among them, using all its senses to endure the challenges of the environment. What happened happened to Tarbosaurus? This remains one of the great mysteries of paleontology. Some scientists suggest that this titan may have evolved into a new species of tyrannosaur, while others believe climate change has wiped out its lineage. What is certain is that its disappearance marked the end of an era. The enigma of its fate adds a layer of mystery to the fascinating story of this imposing predator, whose reign left an indelible mark on the history of dinosaurs. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave your like and subscribe to support me to create more content. See you soon in the next video.